there's two sides to this. There's one, one side of it is making me really nervous. The fact that it is a, a traditional dish and if, when the troops are coming home, they do want a hot meal. They've been yeah. living off rations, baked beans and sausages, and, and, and they're coming home and they're gonna get a fantastic Lancashire hot pot. Then there's the other side. Do they want a main course of a hot pot right in the middle of the table as a summer banquet? Well, I'll be honest it's with you, Adrian. Two, I, I, so I, had, I had the same thought when I did it for the Queen. Yeah. And you're right, there are some negatives and positives. But I was, yeah. like, I was like Nigel on this one. I stood by my ground on it because I believed in the dish. You think, this is where I'm from and this really represents yeah. what we do. Absolutely. We just didn't get through. <laughs> but it's not just any old hot pot. Nigel's improving on the traditional recipe by using three different cuts of lamb, the shoulder, shin and neck chops. And the breed of lamb is native to Lancashire. To research the lamb for his dish, Nigel made the 45-minute journey from Northcote Manor to Burholm Farm in Clitheroe, Lancashire, to visit lamb supplier Rod Spencer, who's been breeding lonk lamb here in the heart of the Boland Forest for over 40 years. So how old are these? About six months old now. So would you say they're at the best now? Yes, they are, yeah. yeah. You wouldn't think so with the weather, would you? But... No, you wouldn't yeah. today, but they are, yeah. Named after the Lancashire word lanky, meaning long and thin, Lonk is a large hill breed that's grazed on the grasses and heather native to the Lancashire Pennines for almost 300 years. I'm amazed, Rod, that not m more people know about Lonk. I mean, they are the native breed of Lancashire, but it's, as you say, the lamb is lamb to a lot of people. Such like folks yourself yes. and make people more aware, a lot more people will be aware of what a good animal they are. And Rod's got an initiation for his novice sheep wrangler. Right, Nigel, let's see if you can, uh, if you can catch one. Right. You didn't go fast enough. We'll find out. Right, here we go. <laughs> I've got one. Ah! <laughs> right, I missed it, I missed it. Got that one. <laughs> there'd, be no, there'd be no lamb on the plate if you were left up to me. <laughs> I've just herded yeah. them for you. <laughs> Luckily, farmhand John has had years of practice, and Rod can point out some of the lonk's defining features. So what we're looking for in the lamb, Rod? Well, what you're wanting is a good square shape. Yeah. Short neck. Yeah. Plenty. Plenty, plenty of, of jump. Plenty, <laughs> plenty of cover. Plenty of cover. I could do with a coat made of that, I think, today. <laughs> I think we'll leave catching the lambs to John. OK. OK. That's great. And we'll head back where it's a little bit warmer. Back in the Great British Menu Kitchen, Nigel's giving his lonk lamb pride of place in his presentation. So Nigel, the four bones sticking out, that's to just tell everybody that this is a four portion dish. I, I thought about the fact that uh, you're on a banquet, so you've got these beautiful neck chops. And it easily says to the, uh, to the waiter, you know, that's the four portions. When it gets to the final... Yeah. <laughs> Aidan's dish, on the other hand, might be a little trickier to serve. He's making a start on his apple and potato fondants, one of an array of apple and potato garnishes. And he's beginning to think Nigel's one-pot dish has a distinct advantage. If you wanted to cook this for 100 people, you yourself can personally make 25 of them I and can, get it I seasoned can do perfectly. These, make sure it's absolutely right. spot on. Whereas I've got to rely on other people on the line to make sure my dish goes out right. Absolutely. Nigel's hot pot has Aidan worried, but Marcus isn't convinced his informal presentation is suitable for our grand occasion. Well, I've never been to a banquet where you share your food because you might be sat on a table with complete strangers. Somebody on that table is going to have to get up or maybe be, be mum. I'm not sure whether that would work or not. I don't know. 